Hey, what's going on everybody? We are traveling Course Miracles Lesson 57 Review of Lessons 31 through 35. So let's jump right into it. Today, let us review these ideas. I am not the victim of the world I see. How can I be a victim of the world? that can be completely undone if I so choose. My chains are loosened. I can drop them off merely by desiring to do so. The prison door is open. I can leave simply by walking out. Nothing holds me in this world. Only my wish to stay keeps me a prisoner. I would give up my insane wishes and walk into the sunlight at last. I have invented the world I see. I made up the prison in which I see myself. All I need to do is recognize this and I am free. I have deluded myself into believing it is possible to imprison the Son of God. I was bitterly mistaken in this belief, which I no longer want. The Son of God must be forever free. He is as God created him and not what I make of him. He is where God would have him be and not where I thought to hold him prisoner. There's another way of looking at the world. Since the purpose of the world is not the one I ascribe to it, there must be another way of looking at it. I see everything upside down and my thoughts are the opposite of truth. I see the world as a prison for God's son. It must be, then, that the world is really a place where he can be set free. I would look upon the world as it is and see it as a place where the Son of God finds freedom. I could see peace instead of this. When I see the world as a place of freedom, I realize that it reflects the laws of God instead of the rules I made up for it to obey. I will understand that peace, not war, abides in it. And I will perceive that peace also abides in the hearts of all who share this place with me. My mind is a part of God's. I am very holy. As I share the peace of the world with my brothers, I begin to understand that this peace comes from deep within myself. The world I look upon has taken on light of my forgiveness. Excuse me. The world I look upon has taken on the light of my forgiveness and shines forgiveness back at me. In this light, I begin to see what my illusions about myself kept hidden. I begin to understand the holiness of all living things, including myself and their oneness in me. And that is lesson 58 a review of lessons 31 through 35. So, structs and takes um, as I revisit uh, these, these five lessons. You know, how often have I looked at myself as the victim of circumstance? You know, why, why me? Why am I in this situation? Why did I how did I end up here? Um, and when I read the words, I have invented the world I see, it definitely resonates that I, I put myself here. And, and I'm, not, I'm not being hard on myself. I'm recognizing what happened. And... And in recognizing what happened, I feel, sets, sets me free. And even as I drift off and I, you know, I have a bad day or, or I, you know, I, I lash out or I, I do something without thinking, I think it's important after it, after it happens to be able to go back and, and acknowledge it. Yeah, you know, I was... I was acting like a real jerk and I know that and I see that and 
once I acknowledge that, then I feel like that's almost a release that I knew what I was doing. I knew and I know now that there's a better way to do it, you know, which kind of ties into that. There's another way of looking at the world, which is that I think it's like lesson 33, 30, 33. Um, and I think as I was walking around this world for, for the first part of my life, you know, I was walking around in a world that I invented, which wasn't exactly a wonderful place at times. Um, and so the biggest one, I think, of this, of these lessons is this, I could see peace instead of this, because of course we all want peace. Of course I want peace. But sometimes, for whatever reason, you know, I chose war. Um, whether that was with family or friends, you know, that whole, I'm, I will dominate in order not to get dominated. You're not going to get over on me. I, I will attack you. If you attack me, I'm going to attack you back. Eye for an eye. And in a, in a peaceful existence, you know, even if somebody attacks at you and, and you really and truly in your heart can be like, I'm really sorry that you're, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry that you're upset. You know, I'm here for you. Or do you want to, do you want to tell me what's, you know, what's going on? Tell me how you're feeling. Um, you know, it, it, it does create that world of peace. You know, I'm not saying that emotions aren't going to flare, but it does, it, it does invite the fact that, okay, we have a miscommunication and I don't quite understand what that miscommunication is at this moment. But instead of me putting on my armor and getting ready for a battle, you know, I can disarm somebody by saying, hey, I'm open. I don't quite understand. And if you can be open with me, if you can be patient with me, um, then we can we can find common ground. So I'd love to hear your takes. Um, and. Uh, once again, I, I saw a comment from from my good YouTube friend Bob, and thank you for that comment. I appreciate that. And again, I, I, you know, talking about being hard on yourself, I, I don't I don't look at it that way. Um, I just look at it as acknowledgement. So I'm not beating myself up. I I know that I'm human, and I know that I make errors and mistakes, and will continue to do so. But um, yeah, I, th I think that as I'm going through this work, I think it's important to acknowledge that I, I, I can see where I was and now I can see where I'm going. So I appreciate you traveling with me today and I will see you tomorrow.